Welcome, Welcome to your Anime Senpais. Senpais. I'm John. And I'm Richard. And today we're going to be reviewing Zombieland Saga Episode 9. So if you enjoy our reviews, consider subscribing. Full spoilers ahead. Let's get started. So, Richard, Zombieland Saga, what do you think we get when we go into Saki's backstory? Shenanigans. He's not wrong, actually. Um, but I was kind of leaning more toward a heartwarming tale with tragedy. Maybe would have been the ideal response. But, you know, eh. shenanigans, yes. that's That was definitely involved with this. So, that, was, that was my impression, at least. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't wrong, like I said. Um, so we, uh, we got Saki's backstory this week, which, and I would like to preface this just by starting off by saying that, uh, you know, in the past as I've reviewed this, I, I guess I kind of feel like I've dropped the ball a little bit. I hate to say it, but I'm a pretty simple anime watcher. I like my comedies to be full of laughter and comedy. I like my action anime to be full of action and blood, guts, and gore, whatever, uh, you kind of cross the two. Sometimes I'm just like, whoa, I, I wasn't, I didn't want my, my, you know, I didn't want uh, my action and my comedy and my feels all to hit me in the same episode. I mean, I don't know. But the, this, this series, this uh, whole thing together has been pretty enjoyable nonetheless, even though it's kind of, it, it's helped me a little bit. I mean, I've been watching anime for a long time. Don't get me wrong. I've had it happen before. But the way this show does it is very enjoyable. Yeah, so, I agree with that. Um, like I said, so this episode dealt with Saki's backstory, uh, really dealt with her uh, before deceased friend Reiko, mm -hmm. and uh, we kind of got to see her and Reiko's relationship before her death, uh, with dealing with their biker gang, and uh, what was it, Re Reiko kind of talking about wanting to have a normal life, and Saki kind of, well, what what is that? Right, it kind of just implies that Saki... For her, at least that's the impression that I got, was for her, this biker gang was her life. Yeah. So, that's... whereas with Raiko, she, she mentioned something about, like, her parents separating or something, I think, right? And uh, basically, she just wanted to have a life where she had, you know, a husband and family and just kind of wanted to move on beyond just the biker gang, so... Yeah, and and that kind of, to me, I guess, thinking about this in a different twist, was kind of like the Peter Pan mentality where he didn't want to grow up. He just wanted to be stuck in this one little Neverland kind of thing. And, you know, I, I can I can appreciate that if you want to be stuck in the happiest point in your life. I, I think that's a really good thing. And, yeah. But sometimes it can be a little kind of rough, too, if, you're, if you get stuck in your life and you never mature or, or grow as a person. So... I really like that, um, but as the threads of fate go, uh, this biker gang thing kind of, even though Reiko kind of took it out of her life after Saki died, kind of got caught up with her daughter. So, uh, you know, biker gang, scooter gang, whatever it was, right, it kind of yeah, yeah. kind of followed suit into her daughter, and it just never left that family of, you know, if, honestly, it was kind of funny, it was on the women's side instead of the men's side, but... Um, you know, maybe that's just how it goes in this world of saga. Yeah. But uh, I really enjoyed that. Kind of, kind of heartbreaking, I guess, for Reiko though, because she had to kind of see her daughter go through that, and uh, you know, that's just something parents have to deal with, I guess, with their kids. So, uh, got to see that struggle where Saki got to see that interaction, and she kind of was able to make amends for things and uh, kind of interject herself back into Reiko's life and her daughter's to kind of make up for the uh, fateful game of chicken back in 1997. Oh, man. That, uh, so long ago. <laughs> that, that ended her life. Yeah. So uh, she uh, she got to recreate that with a better ending because I get, what was it? She I don't know if she jumped off her bike or what was done, but I remember after it was done, she kind of just climbed, climbed up over up. the hill. Yeah. And, but uh, anyway... Uh, it, it led to a really good ending, good, good happy ending, and of course we got a performance by the Zombieland girls. Yeah. So probably, probably my favorite performance actually. Yeah, I mean it was really good. Yeah, it was a good song, and it's just kind of very upbeat. They were kind of going like this, and you know, doing like this and everything, and just I don't know, just something about that particular song. They, 
they did a very good job of that song. Yeah. So. But uh, that's pretty much the entire uh, kind of the uh, overview of this episode, and we uh, hope you liked it, and hope you like this new single episode format. We're gonna try to get more into this maybe, and see you again in the next review. Yeah. <laughs>